Here we are in the home of... Say your name. Peter Adamian. In Oakland, California. This is his real home. This is his real dog. Hello. Say hello. And we are shooting a TV show called Art vs. the World. What do you want me to do with this? Huh? Huh? So you are a real artist, a real human boy artist. I'd like to think I'm a man at this point. That's understandable. How old are you? 28. Yeah. And at what year of life did you begin making art? Probably three. Three? Yeah, that sounds about right. Where, where do you think the, the human child loses its title as artist and just becomes adult that doesn't make art anymore? As soon as they stop making it. The, but they all the, do the, make it when they're little. Huh? Oh yeah, when you're a kid, you're, you're everything. You're an engineer, you're everything. You're a doctor. Everything. Yeah. A banana. Yeah, you could be a banana. Astronaut. You, yeah, and that's Carl Sagan. What does he say about the universe? Um, he just talked about how, basically about everything, about how things were made, how the universe came to be. In a way, he's very spiritual about science mm -hmm. and physics and the universe. It's Charles Darwin as a saint on a candle. It's a prayer candle. I'll pray to him. You pray to him in hopes that you will evolve past being an ignorant piece of shit. Do you ever encourage people to do art? Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Mm, that's, that's a terrible idea. Mm. It's no way to make a living. Mm. But you do it. Out of, out of habit. Bad habit? Probably. Yeah. If art could chafe, it'd be chafing. Okay, so you do it even though you don't think it's advisable, but you must get something out of it. Uh, yeah, the end product. Yeah, what, is, what is the end product? The paintings, the, the art, paintings. yeah. Diosa del Rio, she's the bringer of water, the, the goddess of the river. So it's not done yet. I have a lot more plastic to paint, which is a pain in the ass to paint, I have found out. When the world ends, or people have moved on from a consumer society, a post-consumerism, they will know about junk food, and they will have myths about it, but they won't know where they came from and how you could create them. So they would imagine mythical plants that would grow hot Cheetos or grow cigarettes. And eventually there'll be ones that grow M&Ms and Doritos. From the painting at the end to the idea at the beginning, what, what happens in between that makes it nothing to something? Um, Did that make sense? It made sense, but it's a very difficult question to answer. Okay. And I don't think it's actually very answerable. Everybody has their own creative process. Yeah, yours, what's yours? I don't know. Learn as much as you can and pull from every little bit and piece of it mm. till you come up with something. Hopefully it's good. It is good. Well, thank you. I like it anyways. Yeah, you have bad taste. This is a little, ba a little toddler coffin I built. That's a humor, that's humor. Yeah. When I was building it, somebody, one of my neighbors asked me if it was for a cat. And I think they might have a cat, so I should have threatened them and said it was only for their cat. I need a woman to model for this one, but this will be the CD shaman. So, a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And this will eventually be a piece like that one, where the CDs are used in the background as a decorative element to elevate something from trash to being art. Wouldn't you say that, sure, the world is an awful place, but that art makes it, like, a little bit better? Yeah. Like a little bit better. Just a little, yeah. That's why you do it, maybe? No, no. I do it because then it's a deep-rooted thing that you have to do, yeah. Um, oh, but did you know that there's people that also have to do it that don't do it, and then they're just like sickly all the time and unhappy? Sounds about right. I think it's human nature to want to create. We wouldn't have gotten to where we are as a society for better or worse if we didn't have that desire. We wouldn't know the things we know about the universe and biology and the human psyche, if it wasn't for that urge. Are you considering yourself a fan right now? Number one fan. Whoa. Ooh, art versus the world. Art and the world. You win. I win? You won. All right. What can't you do? I can't please a woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>